simulating output voltage waveforms of a step down cycloconverter. So, the circuit diagram for a step down cycloconverter looks something like this. So, it has eight thyristors and uh, four of them are positive group thyristors and four of them are negative group thyristors. So, uh, let's move on to the waveforms. So, we can see that the positive group thyristors when operated they will supply the output in positive half and when the negative group are operated they will supply the output in negative half. So for example the for the first waveform P1 and P2 are operated for the second waveform P3 and P4 are operated then P1 and P2 then P1 and P3. So we can see that for the first four half cycles we have operated the positive group thyristors and for the next negative half cycles we will operate the negative group thyristors n1 n2 n3 n4 n1 n2 n3 n4 so when we take out the average of uh, these uh, positive and negative half cycles we can see that the net frequency is that is input frequency divided by 4 so with the help of this technique we, we can step down the frequency by one fourth of the original frequency so let's move on to matlab symlink and let's try to simulate it so let's open matlab symlink let's create a blank model and let's try to recreate the cycloconverter circuit diagram in this blank model so for the reference let me just paste the circuit diagram as well as waveform so having pasted them let me try to recreate the model so for that I will be using SIMS-K power system toolboxes and the first thing I require is a thyristor. So let me find a thyristor. So here is a thyristor. Let me drag and drop it here. So I require 8 of these. So let me duplicate them. Okay, so the left hand side uh, thyristors will act as the positive group and the right hand side will act as the negative group. So let me flip them so that they are facing downwards. The next thing I require is a voltage source. So let me go back to the library. Let me go back to electrical sources and let me drag and drop this AC voltage source onto my model. Let me change its uh, parameters. So let me change the frequency to 50 hertz. Okay. So the next thing I require is an RLC branch. And that is uh, that will act as my load. So like, I'll go to the elements section. I'll drag and drop this series RLC branch. So let me just flip it first and uh, I'll double click it and change it to, to a simple R branch. So that will give me a better waveform. So let me drag and drop it here. So accordingly, according to my uh, circuit diagram, let me connect all the blocks. Okay, so let me connect the voltage source also. So the positive end is connected to this line and I'll right click it and connect it to the negative group also. Similarly, I'll connect the uh, negative terminal to this line and I'll right click this line and connect the terminal in the negative group. The next thing I require is some measurement device to measure, measure the voltage. So for that, I'll use directly call the voltage measurement device and let me duplicate it also. So one of the voltage device will act as the input voltage. And the second one will act as voltmeter for the output voltage. And in order to visualize the outputs, let me use another block that is scope. So I have two outputs. So let me right click it and let me change the signal and ports to two. Now, the important thing is that we have to change the parameters of thyristors so that they are gated in this sequence. For example, for the first half cycle, P1 and P2 are gated. For the second half cycle, P3 and P4 are gated. And similarly, for the negative half cycle, N1, N2 and N3, N4. And there is also a delay angle that is delay of alpha angle in triggering of each thyristors. So for that, let me use one more block that is pulse generate. Okay. So I have to change its parameters in such a way so that I get a logical output waveform. So let me double click it. So amplitude is fine. And here you can see that period. So since the input voltage frequency is 50 Hertz, so one cycle, one complete cycle takes 0 0.02 seconds to complete. 0 0.02 seconds to complete. And for that, in positive half group, that is P1 and P2 are only active for 50% of the time. Therefore, the pulse width is 50%. And phase delay, let me take phase delay as 30 degrees. And in order to convert it into 
seconds I have to divide it by 360 degree and multiply it by 0.02 seconds that's because it takes 0.02 seconds to cover 360 degrees so it will take 30 by 360 into 0.02 seconds to cover 30 degrees so uh, let me apply it and uh, let me connect it to P3 P2 as well so P3 and P4 will work from the phase angle pi so I'll have to make that adjustment so let me uh, double click this pulse generator period uh, is fine pulse width is fine just I have to change the delay now the delay is 180 plus alpha and the firing angle we have already taken as 30 degrees so 180 plus 30 becomes 210 degrees this is my triggering sequence for P3 and P4 so let me connect them similarly I'll uh, do that for the negative group thyristors so N1 and N2 works at 30 degree phase delay at 0.02 seconds and similarly my N3 and N4 work at 210 degree delay so I have to change it accordingly so let me change it to 210 now my circuit is complete only thing left is that uh, I need to add certain entity so that the positive group thyristors only work for first four cycles and the negative group uh, thyristors work for the next four cycles for that i'll use an ideal switch so let me call it directly so this is my ideal switch and let me connect it to both positive and negative group side so i'll trigger these uh, switches in such a way so for first four cycle this switch works and for the next four cycle this switch works for that i'll be using pulse generator again so let me change the parameters accordingly by amplitude is fine not period so you can see that the complete wave takes four complete cycles okay so therefore the period for four complete four complete cycles is 0.08 seconds but uh, i'm seeing that for 0.08 seconds only for the first half seconds that is first 0.04 seconds my uh, thyristors are operational so i'll change the pulse width to 50 percent so it works only for the 50 percent of the time okay so i'll have to change the pulse generator input for the uh, second idle switch accordingly and uh, you can see that the negative group works only after 0.04 seconds so there is a delay of 0.04 seconds rest is all fine so let me connect the input voltage as well as output voltage to scope let me change the simulation time to 0.15 seconds and let me add power GUI block to this model so let me simulate it and let me see if my outputs are according to my waveforms so i'll double click the scope uh, let me change the layout so that i can get two different waves in two different columns yeah and i can see that this wave that output waves emulates the output wave which we have seen in the theory part so this is how we can reduce the output voltage waveforms of cyclo converter with the help of matlabs so that's it for this video I'll share the .slx files along with this video. So thank you.